Hello guys, welcome back to Photographics Academy. All right, so in this one, we'll be retouching this image live here in Photoshop. And here on YouTube, I will be using this amazing action that we'll be using for some time now. I believe you have access to it as a subscriber. If you don't, just go to the description of the video and you will see the link to our Telegram uh, community. Click on it and you will get them there. All right, so without wasting much of the time, let's quickly get started so what i would want to do is to just fix these few blemishes that i'm looking at over here this one on her forehead that's obviously a blemish so we place it here oh now nah, that looks bad okay so if it's not going out then we would have to use frequency depression to take care of it okay it's gone all right so we'll check over here i think the image is relatively clean yeah every other thing we can work on so the first thing we would want to do, of course, you know, is our frequency separation. But before we do that, I'd love to bring that hand nose a bit. It looks too flat to me. So I'll go to filter, go to liquify and pick up the face profile too. And it's going to just circle her face for me. So I can decide to, you know, manually adjust the nose by myself or use the AI function. But I think manual adjustment does the joint. Okay, so just bring it closer. Beautiful. All right, so here needs to age in a bit. She isn't thus, you know, budged out naturally, I guess. Where is the lens bringing it down? Okay, so this is better. So we'll have a more straight image now. Correct us on distortions that we we'll had there. All right, so the next thing we we'll want to do is our frequency separation. Maybe later we can fix the hair. So I'll just quickly load up my FS. You're going separation action. I'll make sure the image is kept around four because I would want to, you know, lose quite a lot of stills. Press OK. So I'm working with my mixer brush. I'll just pick up my mixer brush too. Yeah, that should be here. Okay, so my setting is 25, my wetness, and my flow is at 39. So I'd love to put this wetness at 30. Yeah, that would do the job for me. So when you are doing your frequency separation, you can decide to turn off your high frequency. So you just see exactly what you are working on. So whenever it's smooth, you know you are done, you know, something like that. And when you come back, it's still clean. So I'm going to quickly start painting on the image. Over here. Take it all the way down. So most of the times I like breaking the rules. I like using this to, you know, max skin tones as much as i can so you see me painting some skin tones into another and all of that but at, relatively at the end of the day we'll get a good result so we'll just push this this way nice okay so let's see what we've done look at how smooth that area looks okay so we'll move down come this way so you notice i'm painting with a big brush the reason is because i need this whole place to be very smooth and uh, relatively blended in and if i reduce the brush i might lose the effect that i want to quit so excuse me so i prefer to do it with a large brush and avoid very delicate part of the face to avoid changing profile entirely. Okay, so we go this way. Come this way. Go all the way down. Beautiful. And turn here. So I wouldn't want to flex on that area out entirely. Look at this one. Because we need to do something over there. Go this way. Come over here. She will zoom out a bit. So I don't like all the foldings on her face. So I'm going to try to flatten that out a bit. Very good. Okay, so we'll come over to the eye area. Make sure it's perfectly smooth. Come to this side. Do the same thing. 
Let's write this area just a little bit more. Then we'll move straight to her body. Girl will not spend so much time. We're just smoothing it out and we are good to go. Oh, we are almost done with the body. Place it here. Okay, so we're good. So I'm going to turn this on. Look at the image. Wow, this is beautiful. So this is the before. This is the after. This is the before. This is the after. So we are quickly going to do a very quick dodging and burning on the image. So I'm going to collapse this, then load up my dodge and burn. So I'll load this up and also load this up. So I can turn off my frequency separation right now. Pick up my brush. Sorry, still is not. So I'll just pick up a soft brush. Make it smaller. Okay, good. Oh, okay, so it keeps picking our, free, our mixer brush. So I'll just come over here and change mine to a very soft brush. Okay. So I'm going to be painting with my flow at five because I would be putting in some quite strong light in some areas. So we are doing our dodging. I need here to get really bright. Let's see. Oh, uh, that isn't affecting anything by painting lights. Excuse me, let's figure out what is wrong. Okay, so I have to delete this and load it up again. Let's see exactly what happened here. So our brush naturally paints. Okay, so I think I know what the issue is right now. I need to change my brush back to normal. So we did a setting that didn't, you know, that we forgot to return back to original. So yeah, and see that highlights, that streak of light over there. Same thing down here, very strong light. I want to have it flow like a hot spot. I can push it up a bit, just a very strong light over there good one and one here then i'll be needing a very tiny one here mm, let me push this over it so let's see it's good then we'll go back to our normal five and just make sure that every other sur surrounding area is bright Do the same thing over here, right in here up. So we need all this area up right and pick up our bone. Need just a very tiny bit of this area bond out. Oh, it does. Good. So pick up our dodge again, comes to the forehead. I love this high line too right here. We just make that center point be very very reflective just like that of course we we'll dodge other areas we we'll look at the nodes here bright light make it bright make it bright a tiny flow beautiful go back look at here Pick up our bone, paint around this whole area. On here again. And under the eye, we'll burn over here. Okay, so come to the lips. I like to give it a very tiny flow of bond lips, just like this. Good. Beautiful. Then we'll burn here as well. Then for my highlights, we'll put, push it down a bit. And we'll just, you know, give it a kick of light here. And generally, maybe over here. 
Then for my lips, push it slightly darker. Brighten the whole of the whole stuff up generally. Very good. I love that. Okay, so with this done, let's see with our frequency impression what the whole thing looks like. Beautiful. I can't really see the effect because they are under the frequency pressure. So I'll place them right above the frequency pressure. And here we go. This is our dungeon and ball. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. I love my bones. I think I need to even burn down a little bit. This area just need to darken things a bit more. Go around the image like this. Beautiful there for my highlights. I need a little push here. So one thing I can do over there is that I can create an empty layer. I'm not so sure how that will work. Yeah, I can create a curves adjustment layer. Make it very bright. Press Ctrl I, make it very tiny. And just give it a, a slick of light. Just very bright line. And that is really giving the shape I want to see here. Good. Good. Something over here. Then feather it. Just like that. So it means we need to increase it a bit. Too strong. Too strong still. Make it smaller. So I just need there to get the light over there. Of course, we need to bring it down very, very much. So we have to pick up our brush and remove it from the areas we do not want it, like here. Just do the very tiny streak of light in there. Okay, so I will bring it down. Beautiful. Pull it all the way down. Very good. Okay, so of course we are changing the blend mode to luminosity. Excuse me, so that it doesn't affect the coloring of that area. Okay, so generally I'm going to lift the brightness of the image. I feel it's slightly underexposed. Beautiful. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly grab my uh, Beauty Retouch Academy. So I'm going to quickly grab my Beauty Retouch Academy because I, I need to use the remove hair and facial remove facial hair and no body hair there to smoothen out my image. So I think seven is a nice place to be beautiful. So I'll pick up my brush at hundred percent and just paint over the image. Like this. So this gives us an extra layer of smoothness. On our image. So notice I'm not being so careful with this, just avoid some very important areas like the eyes, the nose, you know, all of that. So you don't make it look rust. So I'm going to leave the neck and just smoothen out the uh, body a bit. Okay, so with that done, Beautiful. This is good. Mm, I need to clean it off the edge. Okay, so with that done, the next thing we'd want to do is a, a very quick color reading on our image. So we want to push it towards more like a light skin, but with, you know, a very Light image, where is my yellows? I need to push in some yellows, yeah. This is beautiful, then we'll go over to our yellows. You tap to brighten up a bit. And then we'll push to the hue and saturation. Go to the reds, pull it down a bit, but a bit more. Good. 
Er wordt al foto voor de eerste moment met. So I think my hearing saturation is too low. Yeah, so we need to bring it down a bit. Then I'm going to match all of them together in a group. This is the before. This is the after. Create a stand visible layer. Then pick up my solid color. Press OK, hide it. Open it up again. So I'm going to pick somewhere around uh, here. Press OK. So we'll have our solid color, but we need just the image. I'm going to make a selection of my objects. So I'm going to make a selection of my objects. Select subject, wait for it. So once the selection is done, I'm selecting inverse and I'm pressing Ctrl T. Or rather, let's use our objects. Select inverse, press Ctrl J, create a mask for it. So I just need a mask that will give me only her skin tone, which is what I want, or which is what I have over here. Uh, I think we can sacrifice that part of the hair, then fix it later with our brush. Very good. Press OK. So use the mask to replace that of the solid color. Now you have the solid color on the image. So at this point, I can just remove it from the back of the hair, which I do not want it in. Beautiful. If possibly from the eye as well. So you change the blend mode to soft light or color or whatever you want. So let's see the way color works. Reduce it. So color gives us a very uniform skin tone. But I don't think I love what is to him with the leaves. So we'll bring it down a bit. Good. So we'll bring it down a bit more. Press Ctrl J and uh, I need a soft light. Very important. So I always need this soft light to give me an overall beautiful look. So I think I need to tone down on my colors a little bit more. Then generally, I'm going to create a stamp visible lane, which is the last step. Go to filter, go to camera roll. The once inside camera roll will lift the brightness just a little. Then go to my calls, use it to brighten up my image a little bit. Just like that. Then we can decide to, you know, play with the colors a bit more. Very tiny bit of it here and there. I think uh, it's too much. Go to my blues, my greens. Beautiful. So I'm trying to see if I can create a very nice warm skin and this looks good so this is the before this is the after press ok and we'll have our image so i'm going to match all of this up together and take the very last final step which is our done for you so i'm just going to play my door for you to you know give me that uniformity bring everything together reduce the Dodge a burning effect that you could see standing out on the nose and all of that. So we'll have a very smooth image and that is what we have. Look at that, the before, the after. So I'm going to reduce this. So I'm noticing that the, you know, the lower part of the lips is unnecessarily too bright. So I'm going to reduce brightness on that part of the lips as well. Just here. So necessarily too bright, bringing too much attention. So. Tone it down. The before, the after, maybe bring it down a bit more. Yeah, and we are good to go. So the very last thing is to add some sharpening to the image. I'm going to go to my sharpen, press play, and we have it. Very sharp image. Press OK. So I'm going to show you the overall before and after of the whole image. Let's see, we'll have it here. Beautiful. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I think we missed that along the way. Thank you so much for watching this amazing video. Do make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, please turn on your notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Until then, see you on the next one.